Investment professionals are awash in data sets, and yet they're still not quite enough. If you're an investment bank, asset manager, PE firm, or hedge fund, your analysts are spending an eye-watering amount of time pulling out structured data from unstructured documents by hand. In fact, 30% of an analyst's workload, that's an incredible 15 work weeks per analyst per year, is spent manually copying and pasting from unstructured sources into Excel. Now, we've been willing to suffer this terrible inefficiency because the nuanced information that's being extracted forms the very basis of accurate financial modeling. But now, there's a faster and better way. I'm CK, founder and CEO of Revelata. Our AI platform can take complex, unstructured financial documents that are sometimes hundreds of pages long and automatically surface the information that's buried deeply within and across them. Now, by unlocking this hard-to-get data, we help make you bionic at financial research and analysis, making you faster and better than ever before. Faster and better. Now, let's say I'm an iBanking analyst. My MD has just tasked me with figuring out, pulling out some comps for a new deal. And let's say that this requires me to quickly spread Meta's monthly active users over time, MAUs. Until now, the only way to get this KPI time series was to manually scrape it from the text of Meta's SEC filings. Revelata's first product, Deep KPI, eliminates this painful inefficiency. Now, all I do is go to deepkpi.com and search Meta. Our AI has already surfaced all the time series that are embedded across billions of pages of SEC filings, including Meta's. Now the time series is immediately available to me. I can export it straight into Excel, where it integrates seamlessly into my existing modeling workflow. All that took just a few seconds, and that's faster. Now, Deep KPI also helps me be better in two ways. First, I can easily show that my research can be trusted. With one click, I can audit any data point, bringing up the exact sentence that reported the KPI. Here it's highlighted in yellow. I can be sure that it's been faithfully extracted because I can easily understand it within its original reporting context. Now, my management chain also enjoys this one-click auditing from within Excel. Although that's not really necessary because Deep KPI doesn't rely on Gen AI. So there's no need to worry about hallucinations. Now, the second way that Deep KPI helps me uh, be better is that it helps me do higher quality research. And while I was looking at MAUs, this other time series caught my eye, MAP. Now, Meta only started reporting this in 2019. And looking at its reporting context, we find that this KPI is very specific to Meta, no other company. We define a monthly active person as so on and so forth. Now, even if I normally covered Meta, I need to have diligently read each and every single filing to have caught this KPI. But our AI was able to surface it and everything else because it's not limited to a predefined set of KPIs. It's generalized the notion of what a KPI is and it's able to find new ones, even for companies that it's never seen before. Now, by simply browsing its results, I can gain situational awareness really easily. Now, in this example, I found this more relevant, better MAP KPI that I can include in my modeling right away. I'm producing higher quality research to inform better decision making. And that's better. Now, just to drive home the point, what did the old manual process look like? Well, I had to go to sec.gov and search for Meta and look for its latest filing. And then I have to go Control F and I search for MAP. And hmm, where did it go? Uh, 3.9 billion. So I got to copy and paste that into Excel. And that was for the period ended December 2023. Copy and paste that. And oops, oh, I did a fat finger there. Um, and then I got to remember to copy and paste a link to audit later. 
that was the work, including the error. That was the work needed to manually scrape a single data point from a single time series for a KPI that ought to be table stakes for anyone analyzing meta. Right, and that was assuming that I knew which KPI to search for in the first place. There's no easy way of browsing these filings for KPIs. Now, this is slow and gives me no better situational awareness. Multiply this across KPIs, across tickers, and you'll see that the overhead is simply staggering. Now, imagine just how much faster and better your analyst will be using Deep KPI instead. Now, what does this mean for your firm? Having teams that execute way faster gives you options. Not just because more efficient teams can be leaner teams, but because cutting out the grunt work frees your analysts to do more elevated, higher value work. And even though we've been talking about the iBanking use case today, PE firms, hedge funds, asset managers, and even sophisticated retail investors can become bionic in much the same way. Now, Deep KPI is just the first cornerstone to our bionic finance platform. Ultimately, we want it to be the go-to platform where accurate and auditable work, ranging from surfacing data, oh, ranging from surfacing data, oh, my screen cut out, guys. Okay. Uh, ranging from surfacing data to data -to -day analyses and even insight generation can be done by simply conversing with our AIs. And of course, we want to extend these capabilities beyond equities into other instruments such as embedded derivatives, into private data, and beyond. Now, we hope you've enjoyed learning a little bit more about Revelata and our mission to make you bionic at financial research and analysis. If you can't wait to try us out, we invite you to join our beta. Simply go to deepkpi.com and sign up with the invitation code Finnovate. And at the same time, we're actively looking for enterprise partnerships and pilots. And for those, we'll be at our uh, booth in the exhibition hall. And we're very happy to talk to you. Thank you.